In this video, I am going to discuss the fundamentals of oxidation reduction. The, funda uh, the fundamental uh, concepts involved in redox reaction. The first thing we will be discussing is oxidation. Uh, what is oxidation? What is oxidation? Oxidation is oxidation is the loss of electron or an increase in the oxidation number or oxidation state. Loss of electron or an increase in uh, in an, an increase in the oxidation number. Uh, for instance, uh, we'll be giving you an example like uh, okay, for, let me say sodium chloride, uh, sodium, uh, uh, sodium, uh, this what uh, loses an electron uh, plus electron. This is an oxidation, an electron has been lost loss of electron uh, loss of electron and uh, oxidation number from sodium here is 0 and 2 plus 1 that in that case we say this is loss of electron we are defining oxidation in terms of um, electron loss this is loss of electron and uh, O, an increase in the oxidation number during the process. So when sodium atom loses an electron in solution, what happens? It loses an electron and it acquires a positive charge. Then it acquires a positive charge. In that situation, in that situation, what happened here is that there is the oxidation state or the oxidation number of sodium increases from zero to plus one. In that case, we say there is an oxidation that is taking place. Once more, oxidation is loss of electron or an increase in the oxidation number. Then secondly, what is the reduction? Uh, another example of this it could be uh, in terms of ions, we can say it is ion uh, 2 plus. What happens? An electron has also been lost. The oxidation number of ion is from plus 2 to plus 3. That's loss of electron. Thirdly, we go to reduction. What is reduction? Reduction. Reduction is the reduction is a gain of electron or a decrease in oxidation number a gain of electron or a decrease in oxidation number we are going to give an example of a reduction let's say chlorine in that case Chlorine, what is the oxidation number of chlorine in its free states? It is zero. Here, the oxidation number of chlorine here is negative. Negative one. So now, we said oxidation, I mean a reduction. Reduction is a gain of electron. There is a gain of electron. Or an ink, or <clears throat> a decrease in the oxidation number. A gain of electron or a decrease in the oxidation number. 
Another example, let me go to ion, um, let me take this to ion 3 again. We can see you the example of ion. What happens here is this. Ion 3 gains an electron and is reduced, it is reduced in, uh, to plus 2. So we say it is a gain in electron, a gain in electron or a decrease in the oxidation state or the oxidation number. For instance, ion is plus 3, it goes to ion which is plus 2. There is a decrease in the oxidation number. There is a decrease in the oxidation number from plus 3 to plus 2. In that case, we can now say oxidation is a process. Oxidation is a process in which an atom or groups of atoms can gain electron, uh, can gain electron leading to an increase in the oxidation number. Then reduction is a process in which an atom or group of atoms will, will do what? Uh, will, will, will gain electron leading to an, a decrease in the oxidation number. Once more, oxidation is a process in which an atom or a group of atoms will lose electron. When they lose the electron, it leads to what? It leads to an increase in the oxidation number. Meanwhile, reduction is a process in which an atom or group of atoms or ions will do what? Will gain electron leading to what? Leading to a decrease in the oxidation number. Now, we could still define, uh, in this case, a radial reaction of this. We can write the radial reaction in other ways. We will do that when we get to the next uh, writing of radial reactions. Then, what is oxidizing agent? An oxidizing agent. What is an oxidizing agent? An oxidizing agent is the, is the one that is, is the species that is being reduced. An oxidizing agent is the species that is being reduced. For instance, in a reaction, in a reaction of um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a chemical reaction, there is in a radical reaction there is an oxidizing agent and there is a reducing agent. In such a situation, the species that is being reduced, the species that is being reduced is the oxidizing agent, and the species that is being uh, that is being oxidized is the reducing agent. It is vice versa. The species that is being reduced is the oxidizing agent, and the species that is being oxidized is um, uh, is uh, the, the species. The species that is being reduced is the oxidizing agent, and the species that is being oxidized is the reducing agent. So we now say. A reducing agent, a reducing agent is, is a species that reduces another species and itself being oxidized. Meanwhile, an oxidizing agent is a species, is a species that oxidizes one compound or one element and itself being reduced. We are going to go into a group of uh, examples of oxidizing agents. We are going to go to a group of examples of oxidizing agents. For, uh, <clears throat> for instance, uh, let me give you an example of oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent, we have uh, manganese, uh, four oxides. Manganese 7 is an oxidizing agent. The, the, the manganese uh, 7 is an oxidizing agent. It's a good example of an oxidizing agent. Now, take for this reaction here. Take for the reaction 
uh, Magnet 7. Uh, take for example the, the action uh, Magnet 7. Magnet 7 uh, plus, um, let me see, plus uh, 5, uh, 2 plus, plus 8, yeah, to give, um, to give Magnet 2, uh, Magnet 2 plus, plus, um, and reduction uh, oxidation and reduction 
is this one. Okay, let me another example of this is this other one. We have a zinc. Zinc is solid plus uh, zinc plus copper ion. Uh, a zinc plus copper ion, uh, which is uh, to give uh, to give uh, zinc plus. Plus, then with copper, which is being displaced. Now, this is what happens. Uh, zinc here, and the copper here, what is happening there is this. From here, zinc is, zinc is zero, Position of party is zero, this is plus two, party is plus two, and this is uh, zero. What is happening? There is the one is oxidized. This uh, this one is zinc is oxidized. You see it is oxidized. Zinc is oxidized, it is oxidized. Because it does work. It gives an electron. Two electron, two electrons are lost. Yeah. Then it loses two electrons to be this. Well, meanwhile, copper. Meanwhile, copper does what it takes two electrons. Copper is reduced. Copper is, um, copper is reduced because it does work against two electrons. Two electrons. Again. Yeah, two electrons are gay. Copper, two, uh, in copper, two electrons are gay. Now, what happens here is this one. Electrons are here. What happened here is this is called this is zinc, a reaction between zinc and uh, zinc solid and uh, copper ion. In this uh, situation, zinc is a reducing agent. Zinc is a reducing agent. We call it reducing agent. Uh, zinc is a reducing agent and copper is the oxidizing agent. Copper is a uh, uh, copper ion is the oxidizing agent. Yeah. Oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. Now, why we say copper ion is oxidizing agent is this. Here, in this situation, zinc reacts with copper to form zinc ion and the copper solid is being displaced. What happens, what happens here is this. We say zinc is an oxidizing agent. We say zinc is a reducing agent and copper is an oxidizing agent. See, zinc. Zinc does what? Zinc reduces reduces copper ion, uh, reduces copper ion to a copper uh, solid, and uh, it's uh, being what? Being uh, and it's uh, being oxidized from a copper solid to I mean uh, from zinc solid to zinc ion. In terms of oxidation number, zinc is from zero to plus two. Copper ion is from plus two to zero. Now, zinc, which is a reducing agent, reduces, which is a reducing agent, reduces copper, it reduces copper ion, which is plus two, to what? To copper, to copper solid, which is zero. It does that by doing what? It does that by losing electrons. It does that by losing electrons. When zinc loses electron, it does work. It is when uh, zinc loses electron, it is oxidized from 
zinc zero stage to plus two stage when it uses the electron which is oxidized. On the other hand, copper ion. Copper ion will do what? Will gain electron and when it gains electron, it does what? It is being reduced from plus two to zero. Therefore, we say this is a reducing agent and this uh, zinc is a reducing agent and the copper is, um, uh, is an oxidizing agent because zinc is being a reducing agent will reduce will reduce copper from plus two to zero and itself being oxidized to what to plus two. Copper is an oxidizing agent. Copper being an oxidizing agent implies that. Copper, being an oxidizing agent, will oxidize zinc to plus two and itself be reduced from plus two to zero. Once more, an oxidizing agent is a species. An oxidizing agent is a species that oxidizes another one and itself being reduced. Meanwhile, a reducing agent is a species that reduces another one and itself being oxidized. Thank you.